Well, there's no denying it. The numbers flat out concerning more than 6,200 COVID cases reported in the past 24 hours. And that right there, the highest number our state has seen this entire pandemic. And it means one in every 1,000 Marylanders now have COVID. Welcome to WJZ News at 11 and all of you streaming us tonight. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Vic Carter. Hospitalizations have doubled since the beginning of the month. And tonight, health officials are warning about the impact the surge could have on hospitals, painting a bleak picture of how this virus could shape the rest of the winter. WJZ Live at 11 o'clock. Our Annie Rose Ramos has the new actions that the governor is now taking to prepare for what's to come here. Annie Rose. Rick and Vic, during a virtual press conference this afternoon, the governor said there is a real sense of deja vu here with cases rising and hospitals reaching capacity. But he promises this year will be different from the last. A plea from a COVID positive governor to the remaining 9% of unvaccinated Marylanders. Please do not wait until it's too late or until you get too sick. As hospitalizations rise to unprecedented numbers. With many hospitals at or near capacity. Across Maryland, there are 314 patients in hospital emergency departments who are waiting for a room to become available. The governor mobilizing the National Guard and pledging a million dollars in emergency funding. Is to allow for an immediate ramp up in hospital and nursing home staffing resources. As lines snake around corners and down blocks in Baltimore City Tuesday for free test kits, nearly 5,000 gone in minutes. We know people need these tests and we are embedded in the city and able to get them into the hands of people. We needed to take all the precautions. Elizabeth's son just got his second shot. Good. Didn't hurt too much? Mm, no. Mom says that was a must before Christmas, but now they need to get tested. My kids will probably get tested right before Christmas just to be on the safe side getting together with with my parents. Didn't go home. Stefan opted out of traveling home to Germany. With the airports and flights so being so busy, you don't know if that's the smartest idea, right? So because you could catch something. But the TSA confirms travel is up. Airports screening more than two million people a day. I'm heading back to Gainesville. And as many catch COVID, including Baltimore County Executive Johnny Olszewski, uh, the governor ahead. says now is the time to use the tools available to stay alive. This is not March of 2020. We have the tools and resources in place to keep ourselves and our loved ones safe. And Rick, here at the BMA, they are closing their galleries to the public through Sunday. They hope to reopen next Wednesday, but are saying cautiously is the best way to move forward. Live at 11, I'm Annie Rose Ramos for WJZ.